Hello students. Good morning everyone. Today in our biology session, we are going to discuss the modification of leaves. In two parts, we will discuss these modifications. Students, in the last class, we had discussed about the important functions of leaves like photosynthesis, transpiration, gaseous exchange, etc. In some plants, leaves are modified to perform some different functions to adjust with their own environment. So what is leaf modification? Plants have changed themselves to adjust to their own environment in exceptional ways. Different plants are having different different modifications. One of them is the modifications of leaves. Leaves are often modified to perform functions other than photosynthesis. So just now I was telling about you that, that apart from the main functions performed by the leaf like photosynthesis, transpiration, some leaves are there which can perform different functions to adjust to their own environment. So the leaves of several plants get modified into different forms based on the plant's purpose and their environment. Leaf modifications are used to enhance the plant's survival overall. So these all modifications lead to the plant's survival at all. It helps to survive in a better way. So different types of leaf modifications are there. You can see in the diagram tendril, spines, hooks, leaf bladder, storage leaves, pitcher, phyllode, floral leaves. So, so many types of leaf modifications are there. So, according to your syllabus, we will discuss different types of leaf modifications here in this session. So, first we will talk about leaf tendril. So, in this diagram you can see students. So, this is the leaf tendril, structure of leaf tendril. It is the coiled structure, spring-like coiled structure and you can see this type of structure especially in weak stemmed plant. As you can understand that the plants which are having weak stem, they can't stand properly without any support. So for that, the leaflets are modified to form this type of coiled structures by which this weak stemmed plant can hold any support to grow up or to climb up. So for that weak stemmed plants, whole leaf or sometime some leaflets, terminal leaflets may be modified into coil structure known as leaf tendrils. So what is the main function of this leaf tendril? The function of this leaf tendril is that when they touch any object, they coil around it and by that, it can give support to the weak stemmed plant and 
help the plant to climb up example actually so many types of uh, leaf tendrils are there common example you can say leaf uh, tendril uh, sweet pea sweet pea is a common example in which you can see the leaf tendril now in this picture you can see different different leaf tendrils different different means uh, different parts of the leaves are modified to form the tendrils so in the first case you can see that entire leaf except stipules are formed into the structure of tendrils here you can see terminal leaflets are modified to form tendrils here the leaf apex or the leaf tip can form uh, leaf ten apex or leaf tip is forming the tendril structure here the petiole or the leaf stalk is forming the tendril structure and here the stipules okay so different different parts of the leaves can take part in the formation of tendrils now next we are going to discuss leaf spines now here you can see the structure of opuntia opuntia is one type of xerophyte or desert plants desert plant actually leaf spines you can uh, find mainly in the desert plants why actually these plants are growing in uh, deserts where the amount where the amount of water in soil is very less so how much water they absorb they want to conserve it so how the plants can conserve the water by preventing the transpiration process so in that type of plants leaves are modified into hard pointed structures known as leaf spines you can see these are the hard pointed structures known as leaf spines because here the leaves are only modified to form this spine like structures or hard pointed structures to prevent transpiration or to check transpiration by that it can conserve the water in the plant body which is very much essential in the dry climate of desert conservation of water in body so what are the functions of this leaf spines spines prevent the water loss from the plant body thus helping the plant to conserve water and second one it protects the plants from grazing animals example all types of desert plants are having mostly this type of spine like structures you can see here example gigifers acacia so many examples are there like that next one is leaf hooks students i think you are qu quite known to that term hooks hooks Uh, we are using at our home also by hanging something so here uh, the structure is looking like that that's why it is termed as hooks so in this the leaves are modified into hooks and mainly this type of structure is there to help the plant for climbing like that also you have seen in leaf tendril leaf tendril also uh, help the helps the plant to climb up or to hold any support uh, the function of hook is same like that leaf tendril it also helps the plants to climb up the support example bignonia what happens in this type of hooks here you can see that three terminal leaflets 
of the compound leaves become stiff curved and claw like okay so this type of hooks are useful for climbing up by held by holding any support next one is phyllode what is phyllode in a previous class students i had uh, taught you about the petiole it is the stalk of the leaf by which the leaf lamina is attached to the stem sometimes for some plants like australian acacia petiole becomes expanded into green leaf like structure students you can see here these are the normal leaves for this acacia and this one is resembling the structure of leaves but this is not the leaf it is the modified petiole or the leaf stalk it looks like leaf but it is not the leaf it is modified petiole or leaf stalk it is broad flat leaf like structure also photosynthetic it can do photosynthesis okay so this is known as phyllode this modified petiole or leaf stalk is known as phyllode example australian acacia its main function is to reduce water loss thus conserve water next one is scale leaves students scale leaves you can uh, find in ginger this brown colored to non -photo photosynthetic leaf this one scale leaf you can see on the surface of ginger all the brownish thin structures coverings you can say dry this one is dry thin sometime it is also thick non photosynthetic structure its main function is to protect the bud you can see these all are the buds from which new plants can form new plants can form this from this bud so these buds can be protected by this covering of scale leaves okay students so in our today's session we had talked about so many modifications of leaves in our next session we will again discuss few other modifications of leaves till then bye and have a nice day students